Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and this is a quick crypto update. The first thing I want to talk about is Smart Cash. I'm quite fond of this coin after they sponsored some of my YouTube videos, so I have gone ahead and set up a couple of things known as Smart Nodes. This is very similar to Dash with the whole Master Nodes, and hopefully I'm going to be paid out a passive income in Smart Cash. So we're looking forward to that, and they've also got a few cool updates on the horizon plus a smart cash card. So check them out. Litecoin, Litecoin is still my first love when it comes to crypto and we are still holding on to this coin since we purchased it in October 2016. So we've been holding on to this for a long time. The coin price is currently very depressing so we are hoping that we're going to see an increase soon. Uh, crypto kittens keeps getting crazier and crazier with the weirdest of kittens are popping up. You can see they now have wings and these alien ones and it's, it's really crazy. So we still are breeding our ones which look very boring. Um, hoping to get a weird crypto kitten which for some reason is worth more. Uh, then also want to just have a little shout out to this website called Fact Bar. Um, what they're basically doing is they're like crypto kittens, but instead of buying a kitten on the blockchain, you're buying a fact on the blockchain. And um, they gave me one, so I'm very grateful for that. And I have made a video. So if you're interested in this whole crypto fact thing, um, I'm going to put a link to another video where I speak a little bit more about it. Uh, but yeah. Thanks guys for giving me that fact bar. Um, next, I want to talk about one of you guys, one of my, my viewers, Thomas. He is heading up an, an ICO. I'm not, not particularly a fan of ICOs, uh, but I thought, Thomas, you know, he's watched some of my videos. He's reached out to me on LinkedIn. Let me, you know, talk about his ICO. And his ICO is called Bitfair, and the general idea is that you can trade negatively on an altcoin. So if you don't like a specific coin, you can make money by um, trading short and making profit if the price goes down. So I wanted to get in on the private sale. I thought oh, it would be cool to get in the private sale, but you need you need twenty five thousand dollars to get into the private sale. And I was like, I was like, I, I, I don't have that much, which is a little bit sad because. This uh, ICO might have potential, so check it out if you are an ICO investor. Another ICO from South Africa, from one of the YouTube uh, subscribers that was successful in completing its uh, token raise is something called BlockMesh, so make sure you also check them out as well. They're going to be introducing some hardware wallets and trying to make a mesh network, which you should know about if you've been watching this latest series of Westworld. Uh, but like I said, not the biggest fan of ICOs. I have written a book um, on ICOs, how to value them. As you can see, uh, one person did not like the book. They gave they gave me one star. Very upsetting. Very upsetting for for the one star. I don't think they liked my my format. So in the format, we went with this black background, this bright yellow, uh, uh, you know, headings, and then the grey writing. I don't think they. They appreciated my modern take on books. But essentially what we're doing in this book is we're going through a series of questions to value an ICO. So a very much, um, instead of using a mathematical model, we're using more of a qualitative approach where we ask questions. And this is very much, well, I based it on, on how actuaries value hedge fund managers and asset managers and determining whether they should be employed to take on money and invest on part of the portfolio. Although, as you can see, those are all my hedge fund notes, and I think they are too small for you guys to really read, so that, that's a terrible slide of mine. I do apologize. But now, I want to know, what are your guys' stories? I mean, crypto, there's, there is so much happening in this, this space, so if you've come across any interesting news, or any interesting ICOs, or any new coins, or, or anything of the matter, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below and we can discuss them in the future. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.